Welcome to my channel I aim to upload these news top 10 summaries daily. Links to all articles in the description if one grabs your attention. From Daily Mirror under the main headline of who wins and loses in the spring statement. From Drivers to Low Income Brits. Summary of headline article. Spring statement. Who benefits and who doesn't from drivers to low-income Brits Chancellor Rishi Sunak has been under pressure to help ease the cost of living crisis that is squeezing millions of Brits. Here is a rundown of who the spring statement benefits, and who it doesn't. The new level will be £12,570. Coming into effect from July and comes on top of a 1.25 percentage point hike in national insurance from April. Cost of Living Our Cost of Living team of experts are here to help you through a very difficult year. Sarah Coles, Senior Personal Finance Analyst at Hargreaves Lansdowne, said, The national insurance threshold rise benefits average earners who are better off despite the 1.25 percentage point rise. From The Guardian under the main headline of Russia-Ukraine War Latest News. Concern for trapped Chernihiv residents. NATO expected to boost forces on eastern border. Summary of headline article. They say that Russia has lost the ability to fight an offensive on multiple axes because of the casualties it has suffered, around 7,000 to 8,000 killed, on its disastrous offensive and is now focusing on one principal battle at a time while its attack on the Ukrainian capital has essentially stalled. I think the challenge is once Mariupol falls and is taken. And I think there's a grim reality around Mariupol with the kind of reckless and inhumane nature of the operation there. One said. An estimated 100,000 people remain in the bombed and encircled port city. Another official said this would give Russia the opportunity to bring in more firepower and to move north, which could allow Moscow's forces to encircle the Ukrainians' most experienced fighting forces in the east of the country. This is probably the area where we have the greatest concern, the official added. From the Independent under the main headline of Olympic Park chlorine leak leaves 29 people in hospital after 200 evacuated from pool. Summary of headline article. Around 200 people were evacuated from the aquatic center in Stratford during the major incident on Wednesday morning. According to London Ambulance Service 29 people were hospitalized with 48 people treated at the scene with minor breathing difficulties. A GLL spokesperson said, The emergency services were called and some of our customers have required medical treatment due to breathing difficulties. A number of people are being treated by London Ambulance Service. Officers and London Ambulance Service have also attended the scene. From Mail Online under the main headline of Angel Lynn's kidnapper ex-boyfriend will now spend 16 years in prison. Summary of headline article. Angel Lynn. 19. Was forced into the van by Che Boskal. 20. And his accomplice Rocco Sansom. Also 20. In Rothley. Leicestershire. In September 2020 after an argument. Pictured. Angel Lynn in hospital Che Boskal. Pictured. And Sansom both denied kidnap but were found guilty after trial. She said the original term failed to reflect the seriousness of the kidnap and the harm caused to Ms. Lynn as a result. After Angel fell out. Paramedics attended the scene and she was taken to hospital but despite intensive medical intervention, she was left with life-changing injuries. Angel Lynn, pictured, 19, suffered life-changing injuries after she fell from a van. 
from the Sun under the main headline of Asda and Sainsbury's to cut fuel price by 6p per litre from tonight. Summary of headline article. Supermarkets including Sainsbury's and Asda have confirmed they will slash the price of fuel by 6p. From this evening. It comes after the Chancellor announced a fuel duty cut in today's spring statement. 2A fuel duty cut was announced in today's spring statement credit. Alami 2 fuel duty was cut in the spring statement fuel duty is being slashed by 5p until March next. Year but supermarkets are including a 1p reduction in VAT in the price drop. The cut to fuel duty. Announced by Chancellor Rishi Sunak today will reduce the price of filling up an average car by more than £3. Asda was the first major retailer to confirm it will cut prices. With a 6p per litre reduction in petrol and diesel. From Metro under the main headline of Putin suffering Roman Emperor Syndrome, and is utterly stalled in Ukraine. Summary of headline article. The war in northern Ukraine is largely static, with Russian forces likely to be regrouping before large-scale offensive operations. According to a UK Ministry of Defence update today, the Battle of Ilovaysk in the Donbass in 2014. However, where the Russian-backed separatist forces attacked Ukrainian forces withdrawing under truce undoubtedly influences the thinking of any Ukrainian commander considering surrender. Roman forces were strung out in vulnerable formations on unsuitable ground, and were ambushed and defeated utterly. Ukraine is on a total war footing and, with internationally provided weapons, humanitarian supplies and active intelligence and surveillance, they can outlast dwindling Russian forces. The fierce resistance mounted by Ukrainian forces has today been accompanied by a call from the country's ambassador to the UK for the West to replenish its arms stocks. From The Guardian under the main headline of Boris Johnson. It looks like P&O Ferry's sackings broke law. Summary of headline article. Boris Johnson has said it appears P&O Ferries broke the law when it suddenly sacked 800 workers, and that the government would take legal action. Johnson made the comments during Prime Minister's questions. Shortly after the boss of P&O Ferries issued a public apology for the sacking last Thursday of almost 800 UK-based crew contracted via Jersey. All other routes led to the closure of P&O ferries. Up to 250 hired in Calais and 380 in Rotterdam under local contracts were not fired. P&O ferries said. UK law requires companies to consult with workers and unions before making redundancies. From the Telegraph under the main headline of tax burden hits 70-year high as families face record. Hit to living standards. Summary of headline article. By contrast, earnings are forecast to rise by 5.3%. An improvement on October's predictions of below 4% but still far below prices. Tax and benefit changes will drag disposable incomes down by 2.2%. Adding to households pain. From July employees will only pay the tax on income of above £12,570 per year. Limiting the effect of the Chancellor's 1.25 percentage point tax rise to those on higher incomes. The Chancellor said he would take a penny off the basic rate of income tax. From 20% to 19%. By the end of this Parliament. The extreme fuel prices are in part a consequence of Russia's invasion of Ukraine which has wrought havoc in commodities markets, including oil and gas. From Mail Online under the main headline of Britons can expect biggest disposable income fall on record. Summary of headline article. 
we have estimated that the costs of all these energy supplier failures is going to cost in excess. £2.4 billion. Higher energy prices and inflation is a result of a longer war in Ukraine or tougher international. Sanctions would reduce the Chancellor's headroom by over £4 billion. This is adding to already steep rises in petrol and energy prices, which have been hitting household finances hard. In a blow to caffeine lovers, coffee and other hot drinks have seen prices rise by 11.5%, while the cost of tea has increased by 2.8%. Furniture and flooring also contributed to the rise in inflation as prices started to recover. Following New Year's sales. From the Telegraph under the main headline of Lloyd's to close 60 more branches as customers move. Online. Summary of headline article. Lloyd's Bank will close 60 branches this year as the number of high street outlets continues to dwindle. Britain's biggest bank confirmed it will shut 24 Lloyd's branches. 19 Bank of Scotland branches and 17 Halifax branches between May and September. Lloyd's has shut 14% of its branches in two years. Bringing the total number of branches that have permanently shut their doors to 208 since the start of 2021. The bank said the public's shift to online banking meant that fewer customers were now visiting its branches. Lloyd's's Vim Maru said, Our branch network is an important way for us to support our customers. But we need to adapt to the significant growth in customers choosing to do most of their everyday banking online. Lloyds said the number of customers using online banking had increased by 12% over the past two years, while the number using mobile banking had increased by 27%. Many thanks for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe and click the bell to get your daily notifications. Have a great day. Thank you for your support. Goodbye.